this video is on going pro, which the ranch ferry buddy of mine down in Texas coined, cool guy, um, and it's about flipping the insert. So when I built the inserts, the tick marks are very small so that they're there when you want them. You can focus on them and you can find them and we need them absolutely to sight in to make sure we have the right insert. They were small so that we could just shoot the V and ignore the tick marks, but we can totally, once you're done sighting in your 20, 30, 40, snap it out of your sight and flip it around so the tick marks are not facing you whatsoever, especially a lot of guys and gals out there that get target panic. I absolutely recommend you start this way. Just get, get rid of the marks. This has been amazing. I didn't build it again for target panic, but it's been just amazing to get rid of those increments. We don't need it anymore. We have the walls of the V that's mathematically matched to the trajectory of your boat. So you don't need it anymore. Just the walls of the V. So how do we do this? So look at this first picture on the basketball. That's the size. It's about 13 inches, a little bit bigger than the basketball is what will fill up your V. You'll see the first picture, the basketball is set right in between the 20 yard tick marks. That sphere, our paper sight in target as well, the vitals of a deer are just a little bigger than that basketball. So you can see in this first picture with the tick marks, the ball fits exactly between the 20 yard tick marks. Now look at this next picture, same basketball, no tick marks needed. Wherever that ball fits in that V is the right, it might be 22 yards, it might be 27 yards. You're no longer needing those indicators and judging and guessing in between. Better than pins, it fits. Wherever it fits, that's where it'll go and that arrow will go to the dead center of that mass. Look at this picture of the deer. Again. There's the lungs of the deer. There's the pins on the tick mark side. You're gonna see it's 20, 30, 42 yards would be the top of the heart as tick marks. Now let's look at the same picture without the tick marks. Just the V. You can see the basketball size lungs fit in the V, which is 42 yards. You just raise those walls of that V until it frames and fits and send it. It'll be dead center, an inch high or an inch low, but it'll be a double lung, top of the heart, ethical kill from any angle. Let's take it a step further. Look at this next picture of the deer. There's the basketball with the tick marks. You could shoot it as tick marks, but you'll see the ball fits in the V right there. Again, you could shoot it as tick marks or look at this next picture, same picture, same deer, same angle. I just framed the ball of the vitals. Steep tree stand shot, but it's the front of the animal, the ball of the vital, both lungs. Wherever both lungs fit in that V, that arrow will go right down the center of that V and pierce both lungs on the correct entry angle to be able to get both lungs. And, and that's a big one that we go over and over and over in bow hunter education. Broadside shot, of course, we're putting that arrow in an armpit, just above the armpit. You can't aim at that same spot on different angles. You have to alter where that arrow is going to enter to be able to pierce both lungs effectively. And you have to get a double lung shot. The one shot uh, that I get a lot of emails about, how do I shoot a deer right at the base of my tree straight down? And honestly, I'm not going to push my ethics on you, but that's not a shot that I would take. I had, I took that shot on a deer one time and I only got one lung. You can't hit both lungs. They're side by side from a straight down angled shot. So I just won't take that shot, but you can sure do it. You can frame it and it'll send that arrow within an inch of dead center. So that's fine. Now we're shooting basketballs. We're shooting deer. Look at this picture of this elk. Again, there's the tick marks. You can shoot it with the tick marks, 20, 30 tick marks, right in between there, 25 yards. We'll send him home, put him in the freezer. But we don't need the tick marks. Look at the same picture again. You see the ball of his vitals. You just raise the V, and wherever the walls of the V touch both sides, 
front and back of the ball of both lungs, send that arrow, double lung shot every single time. Let's look at the body of the turkey. In this picture, you'll see with the tick marks, broadside turkey, 20 yards, 30 yard tick mark, right in between maybe 22, 23 yards if you were to shoot it as a pin with the tick marks. Now look at that same picture. We don't need the tick marks. Raise the V, just frame the body of that turkey and that arrow will center punch him. So if it's not a deer or a big game animal, how do I shoot gophers? This is cool. So when I built the V, I really, sometimes we encounter small game animals when we're out hunting. Honestly, it's not the end of the world, the end of my season if I miss a chipmunk or a grouse or something. So my first advice was, three years ago when we launched this, was range it. They're, they usually stick around long enough, range that animal, shoot it like a pin sight, and we can do that. However, what we've learned is so magical, getting the feedback from all of our shooters out there, after just a little while shooting it, especially on our paper target, your mind will start to build that little bigger than a basketball sphere, and you can put that on any spot or target or small game animal. There may be a little bit of room around it, but look at this chipmunk first. With the tick marks, I can sure shoot him, put it right between his shoulder blades, right in his chest. Now look at this next picture. I don't need it, but I have framed a basketball sized sphere with him in the center, okay? So it doesn't take long to be able to picture with your imagination a basketball sized sphere around any object. Maybe space around it, but it'll range it and it'll send that arrow to the dead center of it. So if you do get a rushed shot, small game, look at this grouse picture. Of course he fits. He, there's room on both sides. He, he, we're not framing the vitals of small game animals. We're framing a basketball on any object. I've included a little bit of space on both sides of that grouse, which will fit a basketball. If I make him just a little bit bigger, that arrow will go dead center down the road. So, super cool. When I built the V, I built it how I think the V should look. And I want to talk about this a little bit. That, Well, first of all, I get a lot of calls, too, once they get it. And it all gels up to them. And they call me. They say, Aaron, I don't even know that I'm aiming anymore. And it's just like driving again. I used this in the other video. When you're driving, you don't look at the lines anymore. You did when you were in driver's ed, it was hard to keep that bumper between the lines. Your focus was here and here. But after a little while, your focus starts to go down the road. And now you can listen to your song and cruise down the road and you're just looking down the road. We don't even see those lines anymore. We see it, we notice them, and that's how the V becomes. That's the journey, that's where we want you to get to. As you can see the V's walls come up and frame it, and it'll fit, but your laser focus is where you want that arrow to go, and it will go where you're pointing. Pretty amazing. But your perception on how that V should look may be a little different than how I designed it, okay? I see the lungs in, in three-dimensional x-ray. I've studied so many um, anatomy pictures of where the lungs are in three dimensions. So I look through the deer, through the hide, and I frame both lungs as the ball, okay? Some see the ball a little bit different. Maybe it's 10 inches. Maybe it's 16 inches. Again, once you have the right insert, you've sighted in on your paper targets, 20, 30, 40, and we're really close, flip it. And as you start shooting it pro, if you will, if you find yourself, you know, you pull up and that first arrow is going a little high, adjust your sight. That's your gut instinct on how you think that should look. There's no wrong answer. That V insert matches the trajectory curve of your bow. So whatever you're thinking is the right answer. Don't let me force feed it to you. Use this as a training method to get there. Um, I know a guy that has been shooting archery for 60 years and every time in his whole life he shot archery, it was a bow, an arrow, and a nine inch paper plate. And he is so accustomed to that nine inch paper plate that he can put that in his mind 
far easier than he can judge how far away it is. He could put that nine inch paper plate on an elephant or on a grouse or on an elk or on a deer, or antelope. For him, it's nine inches. So he raised his V sighting in to fit a little bit lower in there, tightening up onto the vitals for nine inches, okay? Minus 13 is what I built the V for. There's other things you can do. Um, if super short draw lengths, some of the ladies that are 22, 23 inch draw length, that V is so much closer to their eye that the field of vision is wider than how I set it up to be. So in those cases, you might sight it in so the top tick mark is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, which will bring that group tighter as the, as the V goes down. Um, there, there's a, a bunch of guys down in Texas, all they shoot is hogs. Well, the hogs lungs are like this. And I built the V to be of a deer's lungs like this. So they went ahead and sighted in, that's all they're shooting, species specific, just raising, sighting in, raising that insert a little bit so that it fits a much more, an eight inch circle, okay? If you're coyote hunting for the whole winter long, you can sight in for that. You can sight in for your perception. So it's instinctual. We may be just within an inch or two, just fine tune it. You might find yourself hitting a little bit low. Even though you were dead nuts on paper, that's awesome. I'm not paper hunting. Sight in for your instinct. Just adjust a little bit. So that first arrow, that cold arrow, you pull it up and you frame it the way your mind sees it, send it. I'm Aaron with Easy B Sight, GoPro and love it. And by the way, of course, we give a 30 day money back guarantee. Sounds cliche, but this is a journey. It takes a little bit of effort. I hope you will put the effort into your bow hunting to become a better bow hunter. So we give you a month to shoot it on your bow in your yard. If it's not for you, send it back. I'll be bummed, but, and I want to hear why so we can make a better product, but absolutely give you your money back. But